This training video will show you how to enter competitors into your competitor database. We'll start by clicking the administration tab in the lower left hand corner of the main SpeedNet screen. From there you click the top icon which is competitor. You'll notice that we have on under competitor type on the top right hand side there are five different classifications driver only, owner only, owner and driver, mailing list only, and pit crew. Uh, the mailing list only and the pit crew are just just that. They're for mailing labels or you could do an email blast to those people if you had if you wanted to track that. Uh, as far as the driver only, owner only, and owner driver. Here is the guidelines in order to know how to enter somebody. If they're a person who only drives other people's cars and they'll never own their own car, they'll be a driver only. If they're an owner of a car or, of, or multiple cars, but they'll never drive a car, then that would be an owner only. Uh, this situation happens when there's a corporate entity, for example, that owns the race car, where the 1099 form or uh, tax information is applied to. Anybody else would be considered an owner and driver. All right, so we're going to start out with a with the simplest, an owner and driver. We'll enter a first name. You can enter their middle initial, and you can enter their last name. Now you'll notice that these fields are highlighted in red. That means that's the minimum amount of information that you need to put in in order to create a record. Down on the bottom here, we at the very least, we need to put his car number in, and we need to select the class that the car is competing in. All right, at that point we have enough information on this competitor in order to enter him into a race. However, we don't have enough information if we're going to do 1099 forms. Um, on race night at the at a registration window, it's very helpful to just um, enter the minimum amount of information and then have the driver fill out a paper driver registration form and then you can come back to it later on in the week to enter that information. The rest of the information that you can enter is the address. We have two spaces for the address, a city and hometown, and then the state. Now you'll notice if I type in a city, all right, and then tab it over, we're going to automatically select uh, the hometown is going to be the same as the city. Now in some instances uh, a, a person's city address for a mailing purposes might be, be to a P.O. box or something may be different than what they consider their hometown. So the hometown is what appears on the driver reports for the announcer and so forth. So if the driver has a different hometown that he's from from his actual mailing address, then, that, then you could change the hometown here to be something different. There's also a place to put in the home phone number, a work phone, and a cell phone, as well as a fax number. You can put their driver license number in here, their date of birth, an email address in order to do email blasts, and a text message ad address. If they give you their text message address for uh, uh, their cell phone, then you can also do texting uh, to them or, or mass texting to a whole bunch of drivers at one time. This box here is for entering their social security number. If it's a corporation you can enter their federal ID number or you can enter their Canadian SIN number in order to track the driver. This field allows you to enter their member license number if you have membership numbers that you assign. Uh, the red uh, area above here tax ID says click here to hide the tax ID. This is helpful if you're going to use this computer at registration or somewhere where people can look over your shoulder. You can click that and it will hide the tax ID number. Clicking it again reveals the tax ID number. There's also a button here where you can enter the rookie information and it will prompt you to enter what year and what class they're a rookie for. You can put in disqualification information. If the driver's been disqualified, you can select the class, the date of the infraction, when the uh, 
eligible to come back and race if you issued a fine or if you want to zero out all their points and lose all their points in addition to creating a note uh, on that so that you can put down why that happened. Um, we also have information in here to enter for an emergency contact so that you can put that information in in the event of an emergency and it will be at your fingertips. In the car section besides the number in the class you can select a chassis or make here you can put a transponder ID in this field a sanction ID if it's different than your member license number here and then you can track their membership status um, if you track membership you can either show them as having their annual fee paid they paid for a single event or that the fee is due this box would allow you to inactivate that particular car now this is an important concept if a driver has more than one car you will not create another record for that uh, drive owner car owner or owner driver all you have to do is click insert new car and that will insert a new car down here you can insert a sponsor okay and the priority of the sponsor will be selected you can drag and drop if you have multiple sponsors here you can drag and drop them so that the priority uh, is in the order that the sponsor is so their main sponsor can be first and then secondary sponsors come after that okay for example let me show you on the new car if we click new car here it just brings up another line to enter a different car and we could enter the 54 car in the stock car class okay so this is where you would enter multiple cars for the same car owner. And that's the basics of entering a new competitor.